I'm Susan Sloan with Real Health Quotes, and I'm here with Karen Bade and her husband, Ed. And they are involved with Cookies for Caregivers. It's a national group, and she is located in southeastern Pennsylvania and heads up one of the national chapters. And Karen, tell me a little bit more about how you got involved in that group. Cookies for Caregivers, two gentlemen in Huntington, PA, Jeremy Yurick and Scott McKenzie, started this group back before the pandemic. Their idea was to bake cookies and give them to caregivers. So Taste of Home in 2020 did an article about them. And I read the article in the magazine. And at the end of the article, it said, if you would like to get involved. So I did. I contacted the founders and I was asked if I wanted to start a group in my area. And I said, yes, I bake all the time. I've given gifts to my doctors and friends, and I would love to do it. And that's how we got started. We went on Facebook. We started a group, Cookies for Caregivers Lansdale Chapter, and it has just grown. The organization now is nationwide. There's a couple groups in Canada and a few overseas. And that's how we got started. What do you enjoy most about what you're doing? I enjoy the interaction with the recipients. When I go with Ed and we drop off cookies, they are so excited. We took something to Redner's last year. We took it up to the courtesy counter. And the lady that received it was so emotional, she almost started to cry. And for me, that's the reward. I like to make people happy. And I just think one cookie at a time will do it. How many people do you have baking for you? We just, I just had a recruitment. Our group went from... 60 to 82, so I'm still in the stage of gathering names and seeing exactly how many I have, but I think offhand I have about 10, which is good because if they do a couple dozen cookies, we end up with a lot, and I package them. I usually call the business or organization first, to find out how they would like them. Because with COVID, some people don't like them on a tray. They like them individually bagged or individually wrapped. So I call and ask the recipient, tell them who I am, and they've been identified as a group that we would love to take cookies to. I ask them if they will accept them, and I ask them how they would like them. And then I go from there. Are you willing to go out to others and talk about cookies for caregivers? Sure. I would love to talk to people about it. What area does cookies for caregivers cover? Pretty much eastern Montgomery County. There is a master list of chapters. There is one in Philadelphia. There's one in Bucks County. We have not gone as far as Quakertown but we are always open to suggestions as to where to go. We've pretty much been in this area. We've handled all the police stations and fire stations and EMS, and we've been to the emergency rooms at Abington and Lansdale a couple times, and now we're just picking doctor's offices. We're going to start to be a little more random because in this area there's a lot of businesses. Are delivery people needed? Is that something that you're looking for, a volunteer to help deliver? Yes, we just had a volunteer come forward. He lives in Springhouse. Marty is his name. He volunteered to do deliveries. That sounds really nice, and it must be an exciting thing. Who doesn't love a cookie? Right. Who does not love a home-baked cookie? And I agree with you. Home-baked is the key. That tastes so yes. good. It's a really nice thing that you've gotten involved with this. 
And you said you're looking to get more direction as far as accounting and making sure that everything is done correctly. Yes. Cross my T's and dot my I's. I just want to make sure everything is going in the right direction. Well, this is a really wonderful thing. I like it so much. And you said your husband, Ed, is one of the delivery people? Yep, Ed's the delivery person. I'm the driver and delivery person that takes all the cookies to the different locations. He's We're going to get him a hat a and <laughs> We're going to get him a hat and an apron. That sounds really nice because I know from personal experience when you're trying to find the exact location of something, having a driver and then having a second person to locate that address that is barely visible helps a whole lot. I, I use my handheld fancy thinking device for everything. That sounds <laughs> so, good. <laughs> well, I really appreciate you taking the time today to give us a little more information about cookies for caregivers. You're welcome. I, I enjoy it. I like talking to people. My contact information is, if you want to go on Facebook, it's Facebook Groups Cookies for Caregivers Lansdale Chapter. My personal email is kmb0225 at gmail.com. My phone number is 267 Six four zero five nine three zero. You can call me anytime or text me, shoot me an email, and I'm on the neighborhood website also. That's where I found you, and I saw yeah. the post, and I thought it was such a nice idea. I thought, wow, I've got to get out and talk to you. Yes, well, thank you so very much. Thank you. I hope you have a great day and have fun baking. Thank you. You have a great day also.